Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion. What we have here is an ASUS or ASUS, however you pronounce it, GTX 560 Direct CU2 Top Video Card. This is not to be confused with a GTX 560 Ti that came out a few months ago. The GTX 560, although derived from the same GF114 core of the GTX 560 Ti, only has 336 of the CUDA cores enabled. That means it is similar to the GTX 460, although it clocks, uh, the stock clocks are higher at the 110 megahertz, and the ASUS GTX 560 DirectCU2 top version clocks in at 925 megahertz. The DirectCU2 refers to the cooling solution implemented. DirectCU, that means the CU refers to the copper uh, heat pipes that are directly connected. Uh, directly uh, cooling the core on the video card and the 2 if you've seen the 550 version the GTX 550 Ti does not have the 2 on the DirectCU 2 that means it has two fans and top is the highest um, factory overclocked video cards from Asus and at the bottom of this box you can see a list of recommended system requirements in various languages on the right side you can see the serial number and part number of your GTX 560 video card. At the back you have some promotional information including uh, the Direct CU2, a preview of what the cooler looks like, how it is implemented and also what uh, ASUS calls the Super Alloy Power. It is a combination of using uh, high quality components for high operation and uh, it should result in, uh, according to their tests, a 35 degree cool operation and 15% uh, performance boost compared to the uh, reference design. Also, the ASUS GTX 560 Direct CU2 top video card has a voltage tweak option uh, and is also bundled with the Smart Doctor uh, software that is inside the package can also be downloaded on uh, ASUS's website. And the last bit of information here is the connectors at the back. We have a mini HDMI, a DVI, and also another DVI connector. And they, but uh, I'm assuming if there's a VGA or D sub converter inside. So why don't we open up this box and see what we can find inside. Inside is a smaller box. But this one has a different style. It uh, is not as loud as the uh, the cover box because it doesn't need to grab your attention. But uh, it is actually still very striking. It is very elegant. It looks like uh, something that will uh, that <laughs> won't look out of place at a black tie event. It has the ASUS uh, logo in the middle. It is printed uh, in uh, is actually in gold letters. And if we flip it open, let's see. More premium packaging here. It looks uh, as if uh, this is the GTX 590 we're unboxing here, but this is just the GTX 560. And uh, Suus really went uh, a long way to uh, packaging this. A very premium, uh, one of the best packaged items I've ever unboxed. And uh, this big uh, box right here, let's move it out of the way. We can find the documentation. Um, you can see in multiple, it comes in multiple languages. Then we only need the first one. First two has the installation and the uh, various displays that you can connect. And also the driver CD. It actually has the, the language manual on it and the Asus or ASUS Gamer OSD software and the ASUS Smart Doctor software. The driver version bundled in this uh, DVD is uh, the Forceware 270.48 and although for our review, we will use the 275.20, which is the latest uh, beta version. And, uh, and this right side, you can see that uh, it houses the components. Make sure nothing is left. Um, we have adapters, uh, two pin, uh, two four pin molexes, two six pin. There's a pair of them for your power supply. And we have the D-sub, we have the, uh, the DVI converter, and 
the mini HDMI to HDMI converter. Now let's move on to the card itself. It's air. It's not covered in plastic. It is in this uh, ESD foam right here. Just take out the entire thing and move it out of the way. You can take a closer look at the card. With all the packaging put away, we can take a closer look at the ASUS Direct CU2 GTX 560 top itself. And uh, you can see first the cooler. He has a dual fan setup instead of a single fan for like the reference cooler. And uh, you can see through the uh, through the shroud, it's actually it's not made of plastic like most uh, video card shrouds, but it is metal. So it is a, a little bit more heavier, but what it does is it actually helps with dissipating the extra heat. And uh, at the bottom, you can see the PCIe. It's uh, protected by this uh, plastic cover. It's exposed right there. And at the back, similarly, the DVI ports are also protected by this covering. There are two DVI ports and a mini HDMI port. And the top part is exclusively for exhausting hot air. Now we flip it this way and you can see the SLI finger there. There's a single one for dual cross, uh, dual SLI rather. Uh, Crossfire is for AMD, you have to remember. And SLI is for uh, NVIDIA video cards. And there is actually, instead of a backplate, the ASUS GTX 560 DirectCU2 has this long metal uh, piece of plate here that is uh, running uh, right by the side it, uh, it is screwed in place and it, it actually helps uh, since the shroud is metal and there's a very heavy heat sink in there what will happen is if it doesn't have that it will bend over and it will uh, it will uh, you, you're, you will notice that a PCB will bend slightly so what it uh, what that does in place of a full back plate is it gives it the stability and keeps the PCB straight. And uh, now we're going to find the power connector on this end. There are two six pin connectors and there's also two LEDs right there that uh, that should light up if your two uh, six pin connectors are plugged in properly or working properly and delivering uh, enough voltages. And uh, we're actually going to take a look at the GTX 560 DirectCU2 a little bit more closely. We are going to take off the heatsink on top and uh, look at what the PCB uh, what the PCB looks like. Before we take a closer look at the working components of the PCB, we'll take a look at the DirectCU2 part of the GTX 560 top video card from ASUS and uh, what this DirectCU2 cooling solution consists of are three flattened heat pipes and which directly make a contact with the GPU core. Of course, there's thermal paste in between. Uh, unlike other, uh, the regular and reference design video cards, which have a metal plate before it touches the uh, copper heat pipes. So it, uh, more heat is actually stored into the plate and uh, put back into the system rather than dissipated. Uh, what happens uh, when you have the direct contact heat pipe is that it absorbs the heat much more efficiently and distributes it to these copper fins uh, on both because it has two fans one fin is at the top and one fin is at the bottom and these fans are four pin PWM fans which dynamically alter their rotational speed depending on the thermal requirements of your GPU. So we can see all the components of what ASUS calls the Super Alloy Power System. We are going to take off this heatsink at the bottom. It is an aluminum heatsink, but it's painted black to reflect the overall aesthetic. And uh, it has thermal, uh, thermal tape underneath. And uh, here what uh, comprises of the Super Alloy Power System are the high quality capacitors. They're about, uh, rated up to 90,000 hours longer than regular 
Japanese capacitors. And you also have these uh, super alloy MOS and uh, they're smaller and more power efficient than your uh, typical MOSFETs and your super uh, alloy chokes which are unlike traditional chokes which are hollow inside and they buzz whenever you use these are noise free uh, solid chokes and uh, also you have your super hybrid engine which is the voltage regulator at uh, right here on the end and you have your pair of uh, overcurrent protection. Now these are all combined. Uh, they help your system run uh, a little bit more efficiently. About 15%, uh, at least according to SUS, a better performance than the, than the reference GTX 560. Since this ASUS GTX 560 top video card uses a direct CU2 custom cooling solution, which is a rather heavy heatsink, uh, ASUS has this GPU guards on the corner, which uh, further reinforces the, the traces and uh, it, it will uh, ensure stable operation throughout. So there's no cracks or anything on the PCB and there's no, uh, from, that will happen from bending uh, whenever the PCB is stressed. Also, you can see that there are a total of one gigabyte GDDR5 memory uh, made up of Samsung chips and about eight of them in total. And the there's also shielding on the display port, uh, rather the DVI and the HDMI ports at the back. Now let us uh, plug this video card into our system and run our benchmark, see how the ASUS DirectCU2 GTX 560 top video card performs.